The sponge in my food. The sponge in my food. The sponge in my food, there. Yeah. Another member of Raglan adjusting to life in Year 7 is Aaron. Is it difficult to change schools? Well, it's a little bit, yeah. She can get a little bit nervous. Were you nervous before you started? Yeah. Because I thought I'd like, get bullied and all that. The fuck off! Can you tell me what else is different? Well, first, obviously, you, wear, you have to wear like ties and blazers and all that. In primary, you just wear jumpers or like t-shirts. In secondary school, you have to go to all different classes. As the spirit departed, another took shape. A horrible creature in a hood and a cape. As a head of house, my job is to help them, basically help them get settled in. It's not, it's not to do with, you know, the subjects, the academic side of it. My job is the person, the, the pastoral side. Have you ever been in detention at school? Well, quite a lot of times. Like for coming in late, being, you know, nasty a little bit. Sorry, Blitness. I can't believe you, you've been nasty, Aaron. I know, sometimes, though, I do. I can be a little bit cheeky. What sorts of things do you say? Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm can't say this, but I say the F word sometimes. Um, the B word, the S word, and that's it. I'm a bit concerned he doesn't seem to have made any friends. Are you aware of any friendship groups that he's got? I haven't even noticed, to be honest. You don't see him with anybody. I'll have a chat with him about okay. where he goes lunchtime and who he bothers with. I'll have a little chat to see if, we can, if I can work out who his friends are. Can I have a please? What, it's a pen, right? But but you can you can use you can put things in your own flicker. My mum gave it to me. My mum gave it to me too early. She meant to give it to me for Christmas, but she gave it to me now. Pen for Christmas. <coughs> yeah. When when year seven come to us, they've got an array of different um, issues. And it's really important that as soon as they come to Willows, or as soon as they come to this school, that we help them as quickly as we can, whether that's making friends, whether it's behaviour issues, whether it's anything, you know, social issues, whatever. Because if they're not happy, they're not going to learn. So what I was wondering was how you're getting on. I'm good. So what do you like about this school? I'm learning more things. What's the bad things about it? Yeah, what? detention. What are you going to detentions for? I'm coming in late. Right, so why are you coming in late? Enough. What time do you go to bed? Like 10. 10? How do you feel then in the mornings when you get up? Knackered. Knackered. I think you should go to bed earlier and then get up earlier. And you won't be so tired in the morning, will you? As I am with everybody else, I'm just wondering whether you've settled in and made friends and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because it's nice, nice to have friends, isn't it? Yeah? So, who do you play with? Gareth. Who's Gareth? Um, do you know the one with ginger hair? Or... Oh, OK, yeah, yeah, I know. And, um, I don't know, I forgot his name now. I forgot his name. Are they good friends? Yeah. Yeah? OK. Come on in. Do you think friends are important in life? Yeah. How important? Well, very important. Cos for them to, like, um, be there for you, that's what friends are for, like. They, like, help you with stuff and, like, um, take care of you. Mr Roberts has come up with a plan to help Aaron adapt to life at Willows. Right, do you know who this is? Do you know who this is? Jack. Jack. What's Jack? Um, I think captain. He is the captain, that's right. right now what He's I'm... enlisted house captain Jack to help Aaron settle in. What do your mates think about you? Oh, teacher's pet. That's a, that's a main one. Are you being a teacher's pet? No, no, I'm not. I get along with a couple of teachers. I'm not a teacher's pet, though. No in here. Right, now, what I've asked Jack to do... There you go. ..is to be, a, like, a, a buddy, like a mentor, OK, to look after some of our Year 7s, OK? If you're constantly going to be late, he's going to be on to you, OK? But on the other side of that is if you've got a problem, you can go to Jack straight away. Don't so... be scared to speak to me, either. All right? So he's going to be like... Like a big brother, OK? He's not your brother, but he's going to be act acting like a big brother would. Why are you going in late, then? Going to bed late. We need to get to bed early, don't you? What did he say? We need to go to bed early. What did I say? Did the same thing. Exactly the same thing, all right? So we're both saying it. Does that make sense? Yep. Want to yo your back? Yeah, please. Want to go home? Uh, yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks. See you later. OK. I just wanted to keep an eye on Aaron, really, because I'm a bit concerned about him. Because I'm not sure, I'm not sure with him whether 
he just likes his own company, or whether he just hasn't made many friends. When I asked, asked him who his friends were and he told me, I was on duty the day after in the canteen and said, oh, where, where's, where's, your, where's your mates? Like, oh, they're outside, I'm going out there now. But he was still by himself and I was thinking, I want to just make sure that he's got someone he can turn to if he's by himself or if he's struggling. <sighs> what are you like at school, Aaron? Do you think you, do you work hard or you? Yeah, I work hard, I got, I got a praise card. I've got a praise card. What was that for? Um, for doing, working really hard in literacy. What sort of books do you like? Um, I know it's pretty um, babyish, but hard time read. <laughs> hard time read. And uh, Percy Jackson. And Die of a Wimpy Kid. It's registration, and House Captain Jack is waiting to take on his new duties as Aaron's mentor. Come on, let's move it. Get in quickly. Come on. Miss, this is my ranch, Miss, but no one's in. Is it assembly for your house today? Right, is it Raglan? Um, oh, you're in F7. There we are, sweetie pie. <sighs> there they are. That's where you were. Look, I'm looking for you. Aaron. How come you're late today? Huh? How come you're late today? Oh, woke up late. Eh? Huh? Woke up late. Like I always do. That's not good, is it? Just sort that out. See you later. Yeah. Aaron's a very shy and to himself type of type of kid, which is pretty challenging. But our house, it's a family, you know. In that family, you can't be leaving anyone behind. You can't be letting everyone be sad. You literally have to, you know, stick your neck out for it, for everyone and you know, help everyone out. What are you going to be doing then over the holidays? Holidays? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing? Yeah. What did you ask for them for Christmas? Uh, I didn't ask for, huh? well, I, I didn't ask for nothing, but... Um, you didn't ask for anything? I didn't nothing. Ask. I'm waiting for them to bring it to me. Huh? I'm, waiting, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for them to bring it to me. All right. See you later, Aaron. All right. Aaron's been really hard to get through to. Uh, I've been trying to, like, ease into, like, conversations, like, how's your work doing and stuff like that, and he's, he's not having any of it at the, at the moment. He's, uh... It's just, like, he doesn't listen to you at all, and he, he, he gives you one-word answers as well. Hello, good morning. I'm just trying to... Yeah. It's not going anywhere. It doesn't work. He's really hard not to crack. God damn it. I tell you, I lost it, so... God, no, anyway. Aaron has lost his eye. We're trying to pop in today and purchase another one. Look. Well, that's, that's my mum's signature. It's over halfway through term, but Aaron is still getting to grips with the responsibilities of secondary school. <laughs> Right, I've got a spare tie somewhere. Aaron, come here. Can we finish that over there, please? Thank you. Can you I just about Mr Roberts has a solution. He hopes will at least get him to lessons on time. Right, set. Right, look, 9.08, that's today, that's the time. 28th of November, Friday. It's all set for you. Right, let's do the let's set the alarm. Listen now, part of growing up is not relying on your mum to get you up in the mornings. You're the only one we've bought an alarm clock for, because you're the only one who keeps turning up late. Thanks. It's all right. What's Mr Roberts been like? He's been a little bit, um, sneaky. In what way? Emma Carey bought me an alarm clock. I was being embarrassed in the office. Literally. And do you feel like Mr Roberts looks out for you at school? Yeah. Why do you think that? Um, obviously, because he's our head of house. Just helps us with stuff and all that. If we need help, he's, he's kind, and that's all I have to say. How are you getting on with Aaron? Badly. Like? Why? What's happened? Or what's happening? Or what's not happening? I, just, I can't get into him. Mr. Roberts has called a meeting to check on Jack's progress as a mentor. Right. So he's he's struggling to make a connection with you. Mm. Have you spoke to him about uh, things he's interested in? No, because like I've, I start to go into that, mm. and he gives me a one-word answer. Then just stop speaking. Okay. Try and get to Aaron as a 
a person before you try and get them as a, as a student. Because if you say to them, oh, I was going in maths, you'll just say, all right. You want to ask an open question. A closed question is, are you okay? Yes. An open question is like, like you're saying there, is where it can lead on to a conversation, yeah? All right. Pretty smart for a PE teacher. Hey, don't be fooled by a tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> what were you like in year seven? A uh, nervous little child, uh, you know, struggled to make friends. And how did you sort of get over those worries? I have no idea. Something just clicked and I just, I just like, I'm, I didn't change. I kind of like put my feet down and, you know, I, I got to get around to make friends. <laughs> It's 8 a.m. and Aaron's one of the first students in. Have you been getting to school on time? I've uh, been getting in school really quite a lot of times. My alarm clock makes me up. Got ding ding, making ding 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 all the time in the morning. But it literally just turns it off. Trick? Show me the trick, huh? Put your hand here. What number is your car? Number eight. What color? Black. Black. Okay. Sure? Oh! Wait, right, Aaron, you got on your own? Well, yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, I'm alright. Aaron's definitely got more confident over the past couple of weeks. He's been getting no referrals lately. I feel really proud of myself and him for actually listening to me. Hello! I feel, like, thankful I can help. Take the gas in. He said that he's going to miss me. That, that hit me right here. Right here. Your mama! Do you think you're shy? No. I won't try. How do you describe yourself? Um, like, happy to wait in second school, but, like, turn into a proper teenager, like. And I'm uh, just there. Corey, 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 10 to page 130. 